What is a movie that absolutely did not need a sequel? Highlander, there can be only one. Or at least should have been. George of the Jungle the sequel didn't have Brendan Fraser or Leslie Mann. Boondock Saints. Jaws. A flawed but great standalone story. All the sequels were embarrassing loads of shite. Every Terminator movie that came after Terminator 2 was unnecessary. I can give Salvation a slight pass because it did have a good concept giving us a deeper look into the post-apocalyptic world. Though I don't know if that's technically a sequel or a prequel. Space Jam. Dumb and Dumber. American Psycho. Yeah. I bet you didn't even know there is one. There is. Starring Mila Kunis. Complete departure from the original. Different style. And terrible movie. They basically have nothing to do with each other. But it's branded as American Psycho 2. Straight to VHS. The Secret of NIMH. Taken. Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Joker. The sequel's not even out yet but it was absolutely perfect as a standalone. Did we really need the third Mummy movie? Mulan. The original one was amazing and didn't need the sequel, remake. Donnie Darko. Toy Story 3. Paul Blart. Mall Cop. Boondocks Saints. Speed. Wreck-It Ralph. It was a perfect standalone story. Then they made a feature-length commercial and called it a sequel. All of the Disney movies that got a direct-to-DVD sequels. I'm a firm believer that The Godfather Part 3 is a mess and I refuse to acknowledge its existence. All them Fokker movies. The Blues Brothers. Hotel Transylvania. I do not need to say much more. Jaws. The Revenge. 300. Don't Breath. The Blues Brothers Kadishak. Hangover. Independence Day. The Mask. Lion King. The original was perfect, we didn't need to touch it. The Matrix. Not a sequel but Monsters Inc. really didn't need Monsters University emo. Pacific Rim. Top Gun. But man, that second one was great. Morbius. They should have stopped at zero. Smokey and the Bandit. Blues Brothers. Jurassic Park. Independence Day. Jaws. Speed. Grease was a great movie. Grease 2 was just underscore. Fast and Furious. 28 Days Later needed one, just not one made by America, no offense. Boss Baby. Morbius. Jurassic Park. Every sequel has some cool moments. But I don't think we needed five more movies in a series. Avatar. Gaslight. Yes. There was a sequel to Gaslight. And I'm not thinking of the remake. If you can't remember it you must just be losing your memory. Jaws. Sex and the City 2. It would have been better if Sex and the City 1 were never made. Taken. God I became a fan of Liam Neeson because of that movie. The sequels were meh. Okay not a sequel but Toy Story 4 really did not need to exist 3 ended it so perfectly. The shorts after 3 were fine to ask they didn't really add anything major to the plot it was just. The toys being Bonnie's well toys. I am not really a big fan of Toy Story in general though so might not be the best person to say it. But anyway this. TBH most Disney movies don't need a sequel but like Toy Story sticks out to me with how well 3 ended. Emo. Honestly. Pirates of the Caribbean. Such a great movie. Well written. Solid soundtrack. Each successive movie only took something away. The Human Centipede, never seen any of them, and never intend to, but I know what they are about. Ocean's Eleven. Twelve and thirteen were dumpster milk. Airbud. Final Destination. Explain how you can have a sequel to something with, final, in the title. The Star Wars sequels from TFA to Ross Didn't need to continue and they are by far the worst Star Wars movies. The series like Mandalorian and Kenobi are great but the movies never matched up to the greats like Rots and ESB. Tremors. I feel that if it was the original cast, then perhaps something worthwhile could have been made. As it stands however, they're terrible. Cloverfield. 
10 Cloverfield Lane was actually really good but it didn't add much to the first movie. We don't fucking talk about Cloverfield Paradox. I hate that movie with a passion. The Little Mermaid. The Hangover. Home Alone 2. Jurassic Park. The point was made in the first movie, guys. Y'all didn't need to keep it going. Avatar edit. Don't get confused. I'm talking about James Cameron Avatar. Your mom's sex tape. Arthur and Kadishak both sequels are unwatchable. Titanic. The IMDb rating on Titanic 2 agrees lol. The correct answer is all sequels were unnecessary. The original told the story. I'll even put Iron Man in there. Exceptions. Aliens. Terminator 2. Mad Max. Mad Max Fury Road. Almost every Disney movie. Trainspotting. Although I actually enjoyed the sequel. The fact that it was made 20 years later and takes place 20 years later instead of using CGI are bad. Makeup really drives the point of the movie home for me. You can feel the characters struggle to come to terms with aging and things changing around them. And you feel it yourself coming back to a story that began so long ago. Bring it on. I haven't seen this one posted yet. The butterfly effect. The original was a brilliant piece of cinema. The sequels were so boring. Made no sense. And had nothing in common with the original. American Graffiti that sequel was face vomiting. Unbreakable. Just no reason to revisit it. Easier to say knowing the sequels didn't add anything. But man.